One of my favorite pieces of furniture in this sale, um, although there's many great pieces of furniture, is this little 18th century Hudson Valley chimney cupboard, which came from the Salisbury estate. Really rare form, almost like a clock case. Got a nice, nice shaped shelf inside with blue paint. Really nice style right here with the carve, carving on the side of the door. And what I really like about this cupboard is if you look at the back of it, you see this nice early construction here, all original with big rosehead nails. And I believe this is a single board. It's really nice, just a really nice gem of a piece. And the piece next to it here is another one of my uh, favorite pieces in the sale. This is a nice Connecticut 18th century Chippendale chest. Uh, really nice carved base here. Good drooming. Uh, base is original on this. It's serpentine. Has a nice finish. Um, you know, really nice, just a real nice piece of furniture. And above it, it happens to be one of my favorite paintings in the sale. This is by a Pennsylvania artist, Francis Spey. S-P-E-I-G-H-T. Um, pretty well listed Pennsylvania artist. Um, this woman bought this right from a gallery and we have all the provenance and the receipt and everything. But I think it's a really beautiful painting and it should do well. Okay, we have a really nice group of stoneware this year for our New Year's Day sale from an estate in Salisbury. Everything you're looking at here on these tables is from one estate. Particularly a couple things I like are the Crolius crocs. Uh, we rarely get those, we rarely even see them on the market. Um, and in this sale we have two examples. A uh, nice one with decoration, and then we have a nice jug over here with some decoration. And other stoneware that I find interesting just because of local history is we have a Kinderhook croc, uh, which I don't think we've ever had a Kinderhook croc. It does have a little damage on the side but certainly is a uh, rare piece of stoneware. And another thing we do not sell a lot of is redware, and this house had a lot of redware. Uh, there's some really interesting pieces, including this nice plate here. I can't tell if those are stylized letters or, um, but it's a nice 19th century example. And this is a really nice piece of redware that says Thomas Worman, his cup, 1807. Super rare little cup. Here we have a really nice 18th century German Bellarmine jug. Kind of a rare little thing. Another favorite cupboard of mine, as you can see, I really like uh, country cupboards, but this is an 18th century Hudson Valley uh, little single door cupboard here. It's just a really wonderful size. It has old finish, nice blue interior here, nice cutout. It's just a really rare form um, and it's very early. This is again from the Salisbury, Connecticut house. You can look at the back on this and you, on the sides you see the stylized hearts, which is really nice and it's got a nice early back. Just a gem and it's a great size. Uh, another interesting piece in this auction is this marble statue by French artist Jean-Baptiste Clessinger. Um, it's signed down here, Le Charmousse, which is the title, and then it's signed Clessinger, and it's dated 1869. We got this from the state in Sandusfield, Mass., where it was on the lawn for generations. And in the artist's catalog resume, this specific piece is actually mentioned as missing, and uh, we actually now have identified it, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, it has a little bit of damage on the neck, and it has some um, acid rain erosion, so it's definitely been outside a long time, but it's a super rare object. And this artist is represented in museums, including the Louvre. And I think the auction records on this artist go well past $100,000, so it'll be interesting to see a fresh find like this in this specific condition of how well it'll do. This auction features some really rare lighting which we generally don't, we get a little bit every auction but uh, not in this quantity. Um, I think this is one of the more interesting pieces of lighting in the auction. Again this is all from the Salisbury Connecticut estate. This is a little pocket lighter 
early 19th century. And what's interesting about this, aside from the fact that it opens like that, and you could just close it and put it in your pocket, the back of it is signed Nathaniel Hawthorne. Now, we don't know if this belonged to Nathaniel Hawthorne or if somebody wrote that later, but um, it it's definitely looks like period writing, and the piece is from the period where he indeed would have had it. So we'll see, but it's definitely an interesting piece. One of my favorite pieces of folk art in this auction is this little 19th century watch hutch. All original polychrome paint decoration, really finely carved with these poodle dogs here. Really nice elements there. Spin it around here. Look at that, all hand carved. Just a really nice little piece of folk art. I hope it does well. I believe the estimate is 2,000 to 3,000 on that guy. We have some really nice smalls in this auction. Some of my favorite things are some of this 18th and 19th century Delft from the Salisbury, Connecticut house. I think uh, this flower brick is a really interesting thing. We rarely get these, and this looks to be a fine example, 18th century. Very little damage. This is a nice 19th century, what they call a moon vase. Just a nice, nice piece. Some other interesting smalls in this sale. We have everything from tons of primitives in woodenware and metalware. But this is a really nice little 18th century pearl bowl. And what I like about this, it has the full family history on the bottom about the old family chopping bowl made from black walnut burl since 1755. Cheshire, Connecticut, and it makes sense because this is from the Salisbury, Connecticut estate that about over 250 objects in this sale are from. We have a selection of Asian items in this auction, including porcelains, some smalls, and various objects. But one of my favorite things in the sale, we have an 18th century Asian altar table. And right underneath it is a nice 18th century Asian table. If you get a look at this and see the nice early construction. Earlier this year we had a pair of Asian chairs that were 18th century and they brought almost 10,000. Um, I hope this table exceeds $10,000. One of my favorite things in the auction, and possibly the thing that will bring the most, is this Jean-Michel Basquiat artwork that we got from one of our really good customers whose deceased husband bought it directly from Basquiat um, in the 1980s. It's an oil stick on paper it's titled Paco. And from what I have read and um, checked out a little bit, if you put a crown on a figure with a name next to it, generally that would have been somebody he was favorable of. So uh, we don't really know who Paco is specifically, but um, it's a really nice thing with really good provenance. And um, recently, I just read in the paper last week, a similar piece to this, maybe a little bigger for us, over 60,000. I don't necessarily expect that for this, but I do hope it exceeds uh, 10,000 or so. From the same estate as the Basquiat is this original signed Keith Haring found object. It's ink and marker on iron with classic barking dog that you see on Keith Haring's uh, artwork. And it's dated 1986. And um, I really hope this does well. We sold a piece of wood that was a found object from the same estate about three auctions ago and it brought close to 6,000. So I hope that brings between like five and 7,000. We have a really nice selection this year of 19th century portraits. One of my favorite uh, is this pair behind me of a man and woman, and it's oil on board. And these are attributed to the Rhode Island main artist, Susanna Payne. And she was around from 1792 to 1862. Uh, they appear to be in original gilt frames, and they're really, really nice folk art quality, and I hope they do well.